every morning, we are spurred on by a quiet confidence, a confidence in ourselves and in the world around us. Whether it's the cup of coffee that we have every morning, the appliances that make us a quick breakfast, the cereal that we eat, the toys our kids play with, the cars we drive, the roads we drive on, or our homes and our offices. None of us stop to think twice about any of this. We believe in the quality in each of these and that gives us the confidence to chase our dreams. But what is the basis of our confidence? It is the assurance that the products and infrastructure we use conform to global standards and are tested by laboratories. And how do we know that these labs are competent, impartial and capable of producing accurate, reliable results? The answer is accreditation by NABL. The National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories is one of the world's leading bodies in accreditation and is a constituent board of the Quality Council of India, QCI. So QCI was uh, founded to be uh, the apex body for quality in India and um, it was started somewhere around the late 90s. The first chairman was Ratan Tata, uh, which shows the importance of QCI at that time. Uh, over the last 20 years almost, uh, QCI has evolved quite a lot and today uh, QCI is involved in many things having to do with quality. Whatever we can do as QCI to improve the overall quality of people's lives in India, not just manufacturing or products and services, but the quality of people's lives for our 1.3 billion citizens of India, QCI is involved in it. We have entered into domains which were hitherto not very quality conscious. For example, drinking water, for example, environment, for example, the legal meteorology, the uh, weights and measures. These were certain things which is impacting the life, health and safety of the common people in India. And these need to be tested in an accredited laboratory so that there is absolutely 100% assurance of quality to the common man. And that, in fact, has been one of the most growth sectors for NABL. So during 80s, uh, the planning commission formed a paper. That any product which is put into the market, it is tested before it, it goes for use. So therefore, uh, an organization was formed, a National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories, will be under the government to oversee that all laboratories in the country are recognized or accredited and a common man can be assured any product which is put into the market, it is tested properly. The National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories is involved in third-party assessment of technical competence of testing, including medical and calibration laboratories, proficiency testing providers, and reference material producers as per international standards. NABL provides accreditation to labs working in a variety of fields. Another interesting scheme what we are going to start is the recognition of sample collection centers which are uh, connected to the medical laboratories. The process of assessment uh, ensures that how the quality of the sample is maintained, how the integrity of the sample is maintained. If the integrity is maintained, the results of the sample will be correct and the doctor will be able to do proper diagnosis on the sample. The process of accreditation is normally takes uh, three to four months to get the lab accredited. By going through the rigorous process of accreditation, laboratories get global recognition and acceptance. However, it is the common man who benefits the most from accreditation, as it affects all aspects of our daily lives, beginning with the food we eat. FSSCI has been set up under the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 with the mandate to ensure availability of safe and wholesome food for our citizens. And one of the primary functions uh, to ensure safe food is by testing of food. You know, that is either samples are taken from the food manufacturing units or from the marketplace. An interesting aspect of food testing is that we completely rely on NABL accreditation as far as lab recognition by FSSCI is concerned. Our labs, unless recognized by NABL, FSSCI does not notify them. While FSSAI, 
lays down specific standards for the manufacture, storage, distribution and sale and import of food in India. For commodities that are being exported, these standards are established by the Export Inspection Council or EIC. Testing is a backbone of an official control. The reason being if the test results are reliable, my decisions will be reliable. If my result is not reliable, then the decisions will be reversed and the lot of non-compliance will come from the importing country. This will affect the image of the country, image of the competent authority like EIC and also exporters will be at loss. NABL is a very very important stakeholder of our conformity assessment infrastructure and the accreditation is being recognized under SPS and TBT agreement of the WTO where the accreditation uh, is helping in export certification and it is also a demand of the importing countries that the lab and also the other processes are being accredited. Accreditation also plays a significant role in healthcare by ensuring that medical testing laboratories are of global standards. Accreditation gives patients reliable test results and the best possible care. There are huge numbers of labs all over this country and each of them is doing all sorts of tests. So accuracy in a medical laboratory goes without saying has to be of the highest standard. And uh, you, you need a, an accrediting um, body to, to give its imprimatur to say that this lab is doing its, uh, its job in the way that it should be done. My lab is, uh, has been accredited by NABL and when an NABL assessment team comes and they, they say you've done very well, it's, it's like a badge of honour that you wear. Just like in healthcare, small errors in measurements can also affect our lives in a big way. Here too, NABL accreditation plays a vital role working along with the National Physical Laboratory, the custodian of national measurement standards. If India has to go from developing state to developed state, the perfection of quality infrastructure is must. Testing, calibration and certification, these are the backbone of the quality infrastructure. So the testing capability and for that you need a calibration of your equipment and finally the certification value. So whether the lab has the competency or not, who will assess that? So that is assessed by the uh, NABL. NABL accreditation allows a lab to be at par with the international standard. So once NABL accredits you and you have generated the desired capabilities along with the traceability of measurement back to SI units, then any certificate issued by the NABL accredited lab will be valid anywhere in the world. And that is the biggest advantage of NABL accreditation. The National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories has chartered an impressive journey and along the way crossed many milestones wherein thousands of labs have been accredited. In the year 2000, the National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories achieved ILAC, APLAC MRA signatory status for testing and calibration laboratories. The MRA status was extended for medical testing laboratories in the year 2008. The MRA status was further extended for proficiency testing providers and reference material producers in the year 2016. After the MRA is signed, we become equivalent to any other country who is, who is also granting accreditation to laboratories. That means a test report issued by an enable accredited laboratory in India is treated equivalent to a report issued by a laboratory, accredited laboratory in Japan or USA or Germany. So once this equivalence is accepted, when the trade takes place, any product which is exported to other countries, they need not retest the product. Once it is tested in India, it is deemed accepted in other countries. Today, NABL accreditation is widely acknowledged by the government and various regulators as a quality benchmark that ensures public health safety, a healthy environment, economic well-being, fair trade, consumer protection. Multiple ministries, government bodies and policy initiatives have relied on NABL accreditation to deliver quality. And while regulators, manufacturers and labs all over the nation have been empowered by NABL accreditation, ultimately 
इट इज द कॉमन मैन हु हैज बेनिफिटेड द मोस्ट मेरे घर में बोरबेल लगा है मुझे शंका था कि बोरबेल का पानी पीने योग्य है कि नहीं इसलिए मैंने उसको टेस्ट करवाया लैब में तो पता चला कि पानी पीने योग्य है मुझे खुशी है कि लैब को एन मान्यता प्राप्त है आई नेवर गिव अ सेकेंड थॉट वाइल बाइंग टॉयज फॉर माई चिल्ड्रेन बट वेन आई रेड द मेटल्स एंड द प्लास्टिक विच आई यूज इन द टॉयज आर रियली हार्मफुल फॉर चिल्ड्रेन इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ अ कंसर्न फॉर एनी पेरेंट नाउ वेन आई बाय अ टॉय I make sure that it is of good quality and the toy is tested in the accredited lab. I've come here since this is an uh, NABL accredited lab and I'm sure I'll get accurate results here. This is the story of countless citizens across India. NABL accreditation is driving a revolution of quality and aims to build a strong quality ecosystem to meet the demands and expectations of the 21st century. This in turn will enable each one of us to pursue our lives without having to worry about the quality of things that surround us.